What up guys, I am back with another unboxing, and if you remember from my last pipe, this triangle means it's something from eBay, probably my favorite uh, seller overall named Herman Hodges. I probably shouldn't tell you that because then I'll have competition when buying pipes, but let's see what I got. I've got my mini Griptilian here, and I think the best way to open this would just be right down the top. And these triangle boxes fit so perfectly. Look at that. They just fit so perfectly in my mailbox. Packaging is a simple and effective. Shipping was super fast. Uh, yeah, I think it's a first class package. So, you know, that comes fast. All the way from California to Michigan in like three days or something. Wow. Oh. Wow. Hmm. It smells like someone was smoking an aromatic out of this. Now this one, as you can see there, looks like a nice deep and centered hole there, right at the very, very bottom. Looks like it's still a tobacco on the bottom. Oh, yep. Yeah. Had a lot in there. Smells like a cherry or an aromatic. Got this one for this little Dublin here. I think for 13 bucks. Again, it's an estate pipe, so I don't expect a lot. I'm a newbie as far as pipes go. But I like the rustication. I liked the size. This one is a jewel. There it is. It says jewel. Brevin exit. What's this say? Viro extra I can't read that. But this is clean enough, I think, just to kind of clean it up with some whiskey here. So I'll show you how I do that. That stuff and things. He taught me how to do it. Alright, so, so here's what I've been doing. I've been using the Dills um, bristle cleaners and regular as well. I don't really use the bristles for much except when I do this deep clean. It has like these little metal or plastic spokes. And they'll they'll tell if they're they will tear up your fingers. So here's a regular one. And uh, this is just some Bacardi Oakheart, some cheap spiced rum. I don't really drink it that much. Um, so I figure this is a good kind of grain alcohol. Alcohol. Whoa, get a little excited there. Woo! But it has a nice oaky scent. So just kind of. Man, I'm making a mess. I'm excited. Come on here. Uh-oh. This might not pass the pipe cleaner test. Here, let's, let's try a regular. Those bristle ones are kind of tricky. There we go. Yep, so it, pi it passes the pipe cleaner test. And I'm just going to... It's a tight fit. Very, very clean there, as you can see. Yeah, this guy, Herman Hodges, he cleans up pretty well. I mean, it's not perfect, but, I mean, there's a little sludge in there, but, you know, every pipe gets sludge. And so when I clean it, I'm just going to, just, you know, just like what stuff and things, what he says is just for his own you know, uh, peace of mind there, you know. Plus it'll flavor it and, you know, because I can smell, I'm going to try this bristle on here, because I can smell the, the aromatics in there, it might ghost a little bit. This is just kind of what I've been doing. So you can see the color there. I'm just going to keep doing this. Hopefully I'll get some of that nice rum flavor. You know, Picardio Cart actually isn't that bad for the price. It's a good mixer, spiced rum. Let's see here, we'll get one more. You know, that's the thing, these bristles, I don't really use them very much, so. Just 
going to make sure that you're not getting the top all wet. And I'm not really aggressively pushing. I'm just very lightly. So then I'll take a regular. Just keep going. Let's see if we can see. So you can barely see any left, and that's about where I want it. The inside looks a little wet, but it'll dry out here. See, pinky test. It actually has a really nice shape to it. It tapers down, so that might be a nice smoking Dublin. What I did with my last one, since it's, it's such a cheap, cheap pipe, I put a little bit of electrical tape on there. And that little bit of electrical tape, you can hardly see it, but it's, you know, it's working as a makeshift soppy bit. And, uh, it's not so squishy in my mouth that I feel like it's in the way, and yet it's concealable enough. You know, it might get sticky when I take it off, but it's no big deal. It's just tape. So, that's what I've been using. All right, I figured I'd show you how I do my, uh, you know, electrical tape doohickey thing. You know, it's not rocket science. I just put it on there. I don't even know if that's... I mean, I, I know it's not the proper thing to do. You know, most people use... Um, the rubber softy bits you can buy um, or vinyl tubing I just put some on there like that right on the edge pull it nice and tight no seams here and that not only hides the oxida oxidization but gives me some cushion and you know it's electrical tape so it will leave some residue but not a lot I mean it's designed to be pulled off of wires there we go Just like that. As you can see, it's super ghetto, but it's super comfy there. Yeah, this is the best I've ever tasted McBaron Symphony taste. It's been in this pipe, and I can already tell I'm, I'm so back for interested in it. if statement, let's check it out in the book of if. This is our second if statement. So here we go. Second if statement. If you could spend one whole night alone with anyone in the whole world who is currently alive, who would you select? I'd probably say Jim Carrey, because I think Jim Carrey's pretty awesome. He's pretty funny. It'd be kind of cool to meet Jim Carrey. Who would you want to meet who's alive? And thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.